hi you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl chris and in today's video this is going to be my weekend reading vlog it's currently friday the 9th i want to finish this vlog monday on the 12th i believe um and in this video there are two books that i for sure want to read which is love wager by Lynn Painter. This is her newest release. This is the second book to Mr. Wrong Number. This one is about Jack, Olivia's uh, brother, and Hallie. Jack and Hallie hook up at the wedding and then from then on agree to be friends, but they are this love wager, this little love bet, have to basically find love first. Um, so to whoever wins, and we always know how this plot goes, and everything's already starting to change. I'm like 45% through this book, so I definitely want to finish this tonight. Rock Bottom Girl by Lucy Score. This is going to be my second Lucy Score book, which I cannot wait to read. I don't really know what this one's about. I just heard that it was pretty good, and I've been excited to read another Lucy Score book, so I'm very excited to read that. Into the vlog. <laughs> read like maybe two chapters I'm into the part where Hallie is taking Jack to her sister wedding in Vail where this is where the fake dating trope comes into play which I'm absolutely loving I love a good fake dating trope I'm at like page 156 I will check back in with another update soon okay okay hi you guys I am back with an update I am on chapter 20 now i've been reading for like 45 minutes to an hour now y'all it's starting to heat up a little bit tell me why <clears throat> it's also forced proximity one bed trope and i am here for it right now jack is like not wanting to like lose his friendship and like he's waiting to admit his feelings or have a talk with hallie until they get back to their hometown they're talking about like oh like I don't want to ruin our friendship I'm like but like I don't mind kissing you and like yada yada and I'm just like and Jack is saying some things I think I'm around 60% done with the book I'll update you when I'm into the 200s <laughs> through with the book I've got around 50 more pages to go it's going well I'm really scared because it's it's been going great so far but since there's only 50 pages left I'm really hoping that there's not a third act breakup because we're way past the third act by now that's the only thing that I'm nervous about I'm on page 245 chapter 26 I'm gonna start I can't really say much without spoiling anything just know that it's heating up very nicely and some feelings were admitted I am going to finish this book up tonight and I will give you my updates in the morning. Yeah, see you then. Okay, hi you guys. It is the next day now. It is Saturday. It is currently 3 in the afternoon. I had some things to do earlier today, so we got an hour of reading in. Um, however, I did finish The Love Wager last night. I gave it 4 stars. It was in between 3.75 stars and 4 stars. Listen. It was a great book, loved Hallie and Jack. However, remember when I said I was scared about that third act breakup and there was only like 40 pages left? There was a third act breakup, but it completely didn't need to happen. And there was like a, like Hallie was like very confused. Um, and so she didn't know what to do, which pissed me off. She was just pissing me off. I'm like, girl, it's really not that serious. However, four stars. I did start Rock Bottom Girl an hour ago. I am only 50 pages in. First five chapters, I would say, were, there was a lot of detail and I don't mind that, but it felt like it was like dragging on like a little too much detail. Honestly, I don't think we're gonna grasp like the plot of the story um, too much until I'm like 100 pages in, but so far it's okay. So I'll update you when I get to that. <laughs> Sunday night 
it. I didn't do that much more reading on Saturday because I had other things to do. I'm like 150 pages in. The book just started to get good in my opinion because I didn't know that it was a fake dating trope. Mind you, I pick up a lot of these books like blindly. Most of the times I'm not reading the synopsis in the back. I didn't even know that there was a fake dating trope and I am here for it. I love a good fake dating trope and this one's pretty good. It's Coach and Coach. I'm living for it. Marley is okay. We're starting to get a little bit more about her, but I don't feel connected to her just yet. Jake Weston is really hot. And Vicky, Marley's best friend, is a firecracker and I love her and I love the shenanigans her and Marley get up to. I do plan on finishing this book tomorrow on Monday. I will update you guys then. Okay, hi you guys. It is Monday morning slash afternoon. It's like 11 or whatever. I did not think I was gonna like this book that much, but like, I love it. Like this is ultimate small town vibes. Like my crush on Jake Weston amplified times 10. I'm starting to like Marley a little bit more. And like, I just love the entire environment. Like it's creating like a really comfy, like homey feel for me for some reason. It's so good. I'm gonna try and finish this before tonight cause I do have plans. I will update you guys then, but I am loving this book so far. it is Tuesday night as you can see behind me I completely forgot to end this vlog out I finished rock bottom girl last night Monday night this book was just mwah, literally five stars first of all this is the perfect small town romance in my opinion everything was medium pace the banter was up to par the character development moved the plot along nicely i loved the ending i ended up loving marley in the end and just her and jake's relationship is just amazing special highlight to vicky marley's best friend and both of Marley and Jake's parents, like their family is just, I love it. I loved every single dynamic of this. Like this is literally by far the best small town romance that I've ever like read. This gave you like the entire experience, especially with how thick this book is. So you literally got to see everything. Um, I, I don't know what else to say. Besides, this is a great book. I highly recommend. Honestly, anything written by Lucy Score, I highly recommend, to be honest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoy doing this reading vlog. Comment down below. Put in some other books. Give me your book recommendations that you might want to see me read and my reaction to them for another reading vlog. I will be doing so many more because I absolutely enjoyed making this one and reading. Honestly, this is helping me get a lot of reading done. I'm um, having to film it and update you guys so but yeah all of my social medias will be linked down below my bookstagram instagram you can even look on my book amazon wish list to see what i'm reading next or what i'm hoping for thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i will see you guys again soon bye yeah.